family, uh, I just want to talk to y'all about a uh, open vision that I had. And uh, it was very sobering. Um, God has been dealing with me about uh, coming more on YouTube. I've uh, been uh, kind of like slacking, but I'm going to get back on YouTube a little bit more often than less. But this here, God has given me uh, dreams, visions. Uh, I'm able to see things that sometimes I, you know, usually don't like to discuss. But you know, I'm sitting back thinking I'm not worried. I'm not going to worry about what people feel or think about me or visions or dreams or you know, uh, what I'm learning now is that you have to tell it because demons, uh, Satan, the spirit world, the evil side of the spirit world don't want you to tell the truth because just like there's a heaven, there's a hell. Just like there's angels, there's demons, there's God, there's Satan, uh, there's Jesus, there's the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people are scared of talking about spiritual things because uh, if you're ignorant about it or not educated about it, it does sound scary. But there are some people that God has ordained to see some things. Some some people who see things really don't want to see them, but it is. It's real, you know, just because you don't believe in it don't mean it ain't so. But I said all that to say this is that uh, I had a vision, very sobering, um, a vision of people falling in the pit of hell. Spirit of God told me to uh, to tell it. I had this vision last week sometime. Um, today is April the what uh April the 10th 2018 so I had it last week sometimes but what happened was I had an open vision I was just getting up in the morning and all of a sudden I I mean like all of a sudden some, something took my eyes open and I saw a video like a video playing before my eyes and I saw this big open pit um somehow I, I imagine the pit right here. It was it was huge and round, but I was I came in I, I ascended uh, no descended into the pit. I didn't have a physical form. I was more of a a I existed. I knew I wasn't in physical form, and I because I couldn't feel what other people were feeling, but I I could see from the pit like midways, and I looked up and I saw people falling into the pit. Of hell by the droves just just falling in the hell just you could tell that it's like they were oblivious it's like people dying and and they dying on on, on their deathbed and have no idea where they're going after they die they're just walking over falling into it headlong into the pit of hell so I'm looking down into the pit of hell there's fire way at the bottom as far as, as far as my eyes could see, it was a big round cavern, just just big and round, just big. I can't tell you the diameters. Uh, I'm sure that there are many different entrances to hell. There's different portals, different ways. I, I've I've uh, I've heard many people testimonies about you know visiting hell. There's many different portals, many different entrances, but this particular entrance was just a big pit. It, it, it was big and round. And people were falling over into it headlong. Not only headlong, some were falling, they were sliding down the sides, just sliding down the sides of the pit. But in the pit, the pit was it, it, it was black and red, but the red was the fire, it was like the lava. People were sliding down the sides of the pit. Y'all be honest with y'all, really, it just, I'm like, God, really? You won't. Okay, I'm 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 gonna tell it. And at first, I thought maybe I was seeing things, but my eyes was wide open, like I'm looking at y'all right now, and I could see this. And people were sliding down the sides of the pit. But imagine lava. <clears throat> Not only were they falling headlong into the pit, but some were sliding down the pit while the lava was flowing down the pit. And people were just falling over just headlong. And I'm looking up and I could see the people falling just headlong. Now, mind you, now, I'll be honest, I didn't have no emotions. 
Normally, I have emotions about people falling into hell or, or, or I want to cry. or But God was like, Chanel, I, I'm, I'm, he didn't allow me to hear the screams. I didn't hear no screams. And I, I was, my emotions wasn't connected to what was happening. Not that I didn't want to have any emotions because God wanted me to talk about it or, or minus the emotions. It's sobering. But I really didn't have no, I'm just looking, I'm just observing people falling into the pit. Okay, I'm five minutes into it. So what came to me, I said, okay, God, what message are you trying to give me? Now, y'all may think it's something, you know, different. I don't know what you might preconceive of where I'm going with this as far as what God ministered to me about. But what the Father shared with me was that there are many people going to hell for different sins. But he told me, he says, two major sins that people were going to hell. Because I was thinking, well, these people are going to hell for adultery Fornication. I was thinking about sexual sins because, you know, in our human nature, this flesh, it longs for sexual sins, regardless to what sexual sin is. it. And normally you think people go to hell because of that. But God says, Chanel, people are going to hell because of the sin of idolatry and the sin of unforgiveness. And I said, really, Lord? He said, many people would die. Many people are dying and going to hell because of idolatry. And God began to minister to me that idolatry is worshiping anything else than him. And I shared with my daughter, I was telling her about what happened because it was sobering after, after the vision, you know, went away. God began to minister to me about the sin of idolatry. Idolatry is anything that you worship other than God. And it's not just a, people think idolatry is somebody worshiping a stone or, or a tree or, or setting up, you know, or, or groves and going up in high places like people over, you know, uh, in these third world countries, you know, setting up, you know, uh, uh, all these candles and stuff to different worshiping demons and devils. And it is that. It is that too. But God ministered to me. He said, it's not just. The stones that people worship are the trees or the material thing. Anything that you put before God is an idol. My, 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 my. <clears throat> Anything that you put before God is an idol. I said, wow. I said, okay, God. Then he brought back to my attention the scripture that he talks about when he was telling the children of Israel about you know, uh, about, you know, about the, the what, what sins uh, not to do. He said, thou shall not put any other God before me. God was ministering to me. He said, I'm a jealous God. I began to think about all the scriptures because I studied on the word jealous before and about God. And God was making it clear that he's a jealous God. God reminds you of a man that has a wife and that he, that man don't want nobody near his wife or even a woman. Don't want nobody near her man because you don't want the thought of nobody else longing or, 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 or even want your wife or your husband longing after anything else other than them. God began to minister. He said, I, Chanel, I am a jealous God. I don't want anything else before you other than me. But see, people will say, okay, God is jealous like a human. God's jealousy is wrapped up in love. It's wrapped up in your well-being. It's wrapped up in him longing for you that once you leave this earth, you go home to be with him. Because God knows that there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shine. And idolatry is wrapped up in, 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 in demonic activity. Uh, you don't, idolatry is worshiping demons, but sometimes Satan won't show himself in, in the idols that you worship. Like people don't see the idolatry uh, behind money. They don't see the idolatry behind material gain. You don't see the demons behind it. You just know that you longing for it more than you longing for God. Anytime you want money more than you want God, you want, you worshiping a man more than you worship God or a woman more than you worship God, or you worshiping your child, you worshiping anything other than God. 
and you long for it more than God. And how many people, how many husbands or boyfriends or even wives or girlfriends that have killed their spouses or their girlfriends or boyfriends because of jealousy? You didn't look at it as you was worshiping them. You just knew that you was in love with them to the point to where you couldn't live without them. How many people have said that if I can't have you, nobody else can't have you? That's idolatry. We're supposed to love each other, but not beyond to the point to where you say, if I can't have them, I can't live. Now, I can't share this video without being honest. There was a time in my life, in my teenage years, I'm, I'm of age now. I know I might look, you know, a little younger than what I am. I'm not going to tell my age. But when I was in my teenage years, I was in love to the point to where it was my fault that me and the person broke up. But at the time, my, my, my youthful love, I felt like if I couldn't have the person, I didn't want to live. So I tried to commit suicide. The enemy, I call it the death walk. And I didn't realize God showed me as I matured in Christ that I had set this person above him. And it was idolatry. And, and, and believe it or not, I, men have always been a challenge to me because I wanted to be loved. And I set men up on a pedestal. And God began to show me later on after I had that experience of suicide. I, 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 God protected me. Because when I tried to commit suicide, I, I had two angels standing before me that said, Chanel, if we let you go right now in hell, you lift your eyes. But then God began to minister to me that it was because of the sin of idolatry that I would have died. And how many people, believe it or not, some people commit suicide, but it's the sin of idolatry that takes them over. Because they feel like if they can't have that, if they can't. If they can't uh, 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 master a person or master a thing, they can't live without it. That's idolatry. But needless to say, uh, I had dreams. God showed me my sin of idolatry to where men, uh, 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 but I, men have been my issue. And, I, and it's like when I would get in a relationship, I would worship them. And I was a Christian. I would worship them. I would be like, well, God, I'll get back to you later. You know, because I got a man in my life. Now it's time for me to cook for him, clean for him. Let, you know, let's, let's, you know, go to the movies, go out to eat. And I just looked up to them like they were a God. But then God began to take me, you know, women, y'all can identify with this. Men, y'all can too, but y'all can identify with it from your jobs, material gain, women, <laughs> fast life, position. Fame, fortune, y'all can identify with it too, you know. But it, 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 idolatry is not just a, a just worshiping of like Satan, I worship you. You know, you sell your life to Satan and, and, and he's going to give you this. No, it ain't just about selling your life to, to Satan, that, that, that sin of idolatry. It's sometimes idolatry can, can seep in in the funniest ways. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm. I'm talking about stuff that could, the rabbit hole can go in many different places. But I'm going to bring it back to when I saw the pit of hell, God was like, Chanel, many people are dying because of the sin of idolatry and unforgiveness. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about unforgiveness. Unforgiveness, we think, you know, when we say, you know, if somebody done done something to us, we'll say, I'll never forgive that person. And Christians say it. I'll never, even people who don't know God say it. And they die on their bed of affliction. Open their eyes in hell. I'm going to say this here and then I'm going to shut it down because I don't want to bore everybody with this. Now I'm going to talk on unforgiveness. I've covered adultery. I think y'all got the point on that one. There was a man of God who was a pastor over in Africa. It's on YouTube. Y'all can search it up. This man died. He, he was graveyard dead for three days. His wife, by the Spirit of God, they did not bury his body. Thank God they didn't. Reinhard, Reinhard Bunke, y'all may have heard of him, a white man. He's a German preacher. K 
came over there in Africa and he was doing revival. And this wife or her husband had died. This brother died in an accident. But they had an argument. This was an African couple. They had an argument. Well, anyway, when he died in the accident, he was in unforgiveness. But God loved him still. God had mercy beyond the grave. Some of y'all say this ain't true. Search it up on YouTube. A man that was three days, dead three days. They had given him or, or they had shot up, you know, in, in his body. What you call it? Formaldehyde or whatever they call it. So that the body wouldn't, you know, to hold the body over before they bury it. The wife just couldn't rest. But while everybody was on top of the earth, you know, mulling over, you know, uh, about this man's death, this man, God, angels came to get him. He visited heaven and he visited hell. God gave him a view of heaven. And while he was in heaven, showed him some beautiful things. The, the, uh, the mansions, showed people worshiping God, angels, streets of gold, just showing him everything. Then the angel... You know, pulled back the curtain and showed him hell. He saw people being tortured in hell. And uh, and he was just amazed that, you know, uh, it's a lot of us Christians, we believe in God and the heaven, but we don't believe in hell because we hadn't had that visitation. But the angel told him, he said, right now, if we were to let you go, he said, hell would be your bowl. The man said, no. He said, I love God. I'm a preacher. He said, while that may be true, you're a preacher. He said, but you didn't forgive your wife. And the man said he couldn't say nothing because it was true. Because before he died in the accident, in the car accident, he had it in his heart to make his wife pay for what she had did. They got into an argument and she slapped him and whatever the argument was about, I don't know. But he was mad, but he didn't abuse his wife. He was just angry and she Wanted to communicate with him to try to resolve the issue. But he was like, no, uh -uh, no, I'm going to make you pay for this. I don't want to talk to you right now. And he just ignored her. But he died with the sin of unforgiveness in his heart. And you would think that this simple. Jesus said this here. He said that if you don't forgive your enemy, God will not forgive you. You would think that this man probably didn't preach Many people that came to Christ, he done laid hands on the sick people, you know, got healed and, and he didn't have much fellowship with God. But that one moment of unforgiveness, the angel said you would end up in hell. He started crying while, while I'm standing before the angel. And he said, oh my God, he said, this is it. He thought this was it. But God gave him another chance to reconcile. God gave him a chance. And while his wife and everybody was, was on top of the earth, they was praying for him to come back into his body. Well, needless to say, he was raised from the dead. But when he came back, he came back a brand new man. God gave him a chance three days, three days dead. But I was saying this to say this here, that we have to forgive. And that, and that we have to really look at the things that are in our life as far as idolatry. Tear down them idols. Tear them down. Whatever it is, remember God is a jealous God. Now, I'm going to close this here by saying, because I don't want to wear you out. If you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, now is the day that, of salvation. Choose whom you will serve. There is a hell to gain and a hell to shine. Jesus loves you. He died for your sins. Because of his death, burial, and resurrection, you have opportunity to give your life to Christ if you die today, if you accept Christ. And if you die today in heaven, you would open your eyes. Even as Jesus, he could forgive to the guttermost, to the uttermost, no matter what you're saying, no matter how foul, how funky, Jesus will forgive it all. Fall on your knees and say this after me. Say, Lord, say, I'm a sinner. Or even for those who are backslidden. Say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I come before you and I ask that you forgive me of all my sins. I believe that you died and rose again. Because of your death, burial, and resurrection, I have a right to the kingdom of God. And I ask that you forgive me of all my wrong. This day I accept you into my heart. And I want to go home to be with you, Lord Jesus. 
And I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I renounce my sins. I renounce my uh, connection with Satan. And I ask that you receive me into your kingdom this day in Jesus name. Now, if you said this prayer, you are now a child of the king. And remember, God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. Now you have the kingdom of God within you. You have access to ask God for anything that you need. Now you need to find a good church. And a good church that talks about the full gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Talks about God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Talks about God, angels. They minister the full gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now I pray that God would lead you, guide you, place people in your path. And he will place you in a ministry that will minister to all your needs. God, guide them. Lead them, Lord God. Place people in their path, Lord. Visit them in dreams, visitations, Lord. Keep your angels encamped about them. Protect them from danger seen and unseen. I rebuke the powers of darkness off of whoever, Lord, sees this video. Minister to them, Lord. Bring them, Lord God. Bring them and lead them into good pastures, Father. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. I pray that this video minister to your heart. Share it on Facebook. Share it uh, 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 in, in whatever capacity. Be blessed. Uh, subscribe to my channel. My name is Chanel and I feel honored. I pray that this video blessed you. In Jesus name I pray. Amen.